Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzz Weaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. If you are following on alternative tech sites as well as here on YouTube, thank you all of you guys for your continued support. We start things off from the New York Times in the archived link because the mainstream media has a tendency to make changes to original articles and unfortunately they've done that to me, particularly when I'm in debate and I try to share a particular article with someone to make a point and unfortunately the mainstream media has made a change. The headline reads, Trump was not indicted but the charges still threaten him. The criminal case against the former president's business could deliver a blow to his finances and he remains the focus of a broader investigation in New York. Now, the actual content of the article isn't as important as the fact that the mainstream media, politicians, and the establishment know that a sitting president or a former president is rarely, if ever, indicted. However, they have used this carrot on the stick since President Trump has come down the escalator. At any moment, any day, any week, any month the president was going to go down it's not going to happen because the government can't be look can't be made to look fallible in other words they always have to look like they have the answers the solutions and are able to keep law and order so in this particular instance i can remember back in january on twitter people telling me particularly after the events of uh, of january the 6th that by june president trump was going to go down and Unfortunately, this is the mindset that the mainstream media, the left, and the establishment enjoy about their work, their narratives, the strategy that they have is because people don't understand that a sitting president and a former president is rarely, if ever, indicted. The purpose of these lawsuits is to simply keep a dark cloud over President Trump. If they can't defeat him, the best thing they can do is make him look as bad as possible. So that's the whole strategy. So when you hear about these lawsuits, you hear about all these uh, events going on with his taxes or his finances, his business, his business partners, all of this, particularly I got into a very lengthy debate on Twitter over the Mueller investigation, which was, of course, as we all know, described as Russian collusion. And this one person was trying to tell me that it had nothing to do with collusion, just a complete evasion from reality. But we move on. Trump to make big announcement Wednesday. This is from Newsmax from Tuesday, July the 6th. Former President Donald Trump will make an important announcement Wednesday about his plans for a social media platform Newsmax has learned. Now, we have learned now as of this recording earlier today what President Trump was actually planning, but we will get to that here momentarily because I wanted to show you that uh, Jason Miller, one of his advisors or former advisors, did create a social media platform called Getter. This is my profile here. You'll be able to find the link below this video. So if you guys want to follow me on Getter, you are more than welcome to. I always appreciate your guys' support on my various social media platforms. So let's get right to what the president was saying today and what the announcement entailed. You this morning to announce a very important and very beautiful, I think, development for our freedom and our freedom of speech. And that goes to all Americans. Today, in conjunction with the America First Policy Institute, I'm filing as the lead class representative a major class action lawsuit against the big tech giants, including Facebook, Google, and Twitter. All right, so there is the announcement. It is going to be very interesting to see how this is pursued because as we have talked about here in the past, the tech giants are protected by Section 230. And for many of you who have been following this channel since I started it back in 2018, know that we have tried to reach out to the president. We have tried to reach out to whomever would listen to us because we knew this was going to happen and we see this happening daily with censorship, banning, and other events. 
to the point where now where we see that President Trump was banned from social media entirely. Right Side Broadcasting was suspended on YouTube because they had the live rally event that President Trump had recently. So we already know that this was going to be going on. We tried to reach out to the president. He even had a special uh, uh, event for social media people. But unfortunately, they didn't get into the details and nitty gritties of what was going on. I wish the president would have listened to them and allowed them to speak to inform him about it. But we also know from Jared Kushner that he didn't uh, encourage the president to join alternative tech sites which would have caused the mainstream media and others to follow him on these alternative sites where he couldn't be shut down. But unfortunately, we just apparently our efforts just kind of fell on deaf ears. And as we see and know, as we lead into the next segment, that it really comes down to people only taking action when they are personally affected. And I found this very interesting from the rapper Zuby, who says, 20 things I've learned or had confirmed about humanity during the pandemic. Thread. Number one, most people would rather be in the majority than be right. And unfortunately, that's the herd mentality. That's the monoculture that the left and the establishment want to create. That everyone has one particular mindset. And if you're not of that mindset, you're wrong. Or you're not part of the tribal uh, group. So I think Zuby made a very interesting point. And my response to him was, I'd argue that this is an issue in the culture war. Also, we won't approve a situation one-sidedly demonizing groups while placing ourselves on the moral high ground. And that's essentially what we have here in this tribal warfare that goes on here on Twitter and other social media daily. And when President Trump was making his announcements or making his speeches and doing, uh, you know, what we're seeing here with his announcements, Twitter, the Twitter Otzi gets all upset and says, why is the president allowed to be able to speak on this platform? Why is he able to be here? And it's because other people are talking about the president. The president himself is not on there, but he is someone that is in discussion. So we can discuss it. We can link and we can bring it to people's attention. But unfortunately, it's really bad on Twitter when it comes to being able to engage in conversation, when it comes to the political, cultural war that's going on right now. Of course, many people would rather just ignore it. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happens, which Zuby is exemplifying here, that most people would rather be in the majority than be right. So unfortunately, that's the state that we're currently in. But I am really interested to see how far this particular class action lawsuit is going to go because Section 230 is there and we know it's going to protect the main the major platforms. So it's going to be a major change that would have to take place with the FTC, with uh, probably with Congress to make these changes. But unfortunately, as we have talked about for all this time, it only people only want to take action when it's actually affected them, as we saw with the election, as we saw with the banning of President Trump. And unfortunately, we're past that point, right? The establishment was able to get their surrogate president, Joe Biden, in office with the rule changes, law changes, and then the pandemic just happened to come along, which is a complete stroke of luck for them, and they were able to make even more concessions with our elections. And guys, this is what I wanted to bring to you this week. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. And of course, below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, to include Gitter. So make sure you're following me on those social medias as I post daily content. And of course, if you're watching this here on YouTube, that would be the channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe along with notifications and to include video shorts, which you guys can find from the main channel under videos. That way you guys can see all the video shorts. And I will see you right there behind that camera next week.